All right, what's up, YouTube? So uh, today we're going out back out to uh, Palmyra. I'm gonna hang out with Bailey. Anthony just gave me a call that he's there, so we're gonna go hang out and uh, watch some racing for the day. But I'm going to. I got a little plan I put together. The truck's been warming up. Uh, right before I left, that I knew Ryan. I know he leaves the the side door in the trailer unlocked. So I really don't want to walk around the track. Get a little prank to Ryan. Is I'm gonna drive to his house. I don't think anybody's there. He might be there, but he told me last night that he had to like do work in his basement. He was like remodeling his basement, so he obviously wouldn't be like looking outside and whatever all day. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna take his pit bike out of the trailer, and then I know later he's gonna end up washing his bikes and stuff from yesterday because I know he didn't do it yet, and he's gonna notice that the pit bike's gone, and maybe I'll leave like the trailer door cracked. Then hopefully, hopefully the plan goes well. He'll give me a call, all freaked out, like, oh, somebody stole my pit bike. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't steal the other bikes, but. It's got the Ryan's house. I think they're inside. They're probably working on the basement and whatnot, but the, everything's closed. Backed up the trailer. We're going to go see if it's unlocked. If it's not unlocked, I'm pretty sure he brought it in the garage. Yeah, so that's locked. I think the back is locked. I wouldn't even be able to get it open anyway, so it's got to be inside the, the shop. I'm going to see if that door is unlocked and then try to take it. All right. If this is unlocked, should be able to get it. Yep. Beautiful. Look, it's even sitting right here. I should honestly go in there and take his, his big bike for like a legit prank, but let me get out of here before he comes out and notices me or something. Because Ryan definitely, if I can turn this around with one hand, won't expect this, especially for me. All right, we're all loaded up in the truck and get out of here, like I said before. Uh, he looks out the window or something and sees me. sorts of noise. This thing's strapped down quick. And we are rolling out, as you can see. But, uh, he didn't find out, so I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be calling me within the next, like, hour or so, because it's 11 o'clock right now, he'll, or whenever he actually goes out and decides to wash the bike, so. This should be interesting. I'll keep you guys updated when he gives me a call, but we're heading out to Palmyra, stopping at Tim Hortons, of course, for the breakfast. And then I'll meet up with Anthony Bailey. Peyton, I think Blaze is there. Blaze actually got a surgery on his uh, ACL, so he's gonna be out for basically the whole summer until that heals up. So, Uh-oh, Ryan's already calling me in like 30 minutes. Hello? Where is it? What? I know you took it. What do you mean? All right, I left the shop open this morning because my dad was out there earlier. Okay. And I just went out there and my pit bike's gone. I'm still at my house. I just got yeah, out of bed. I bet. Dude, I know, who else went out of bed? The Josh took it. Josh is sitting right next to me. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm still home in bed. I just got up, brushed my teeth, made breakfast. So you didn't take it? No. No. Why would I come to your house and take your pit bike? I, would, I, would, I don't. I wouldn't like actually take the time to go to your house and take your pit bike as like a joke. Like I wouldn't waste my time, you know. All right. Okay. Let me know if it's probably Josh just messing with you. So. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. All right. So I don't know what I'm actually gonna tell him that I took it, but uh, I'll just play it off for the rest of the day until I uh, bring it back here, probably at like five o'clock. Then just drop it back off and just leave it by his garage and uh, not say anything because I know he's not going to be home later. I know he's going to be out, so whatever. I don't think he didn't really sound too concerned like somebody stole it though, so I should be all right. All right, so just got to the track. I've been watching for probably like 30 minutes. I'm going to I'll go out there, get some clips after uh, intermission and whatnot at lunch. Hi, Anthony here, Ribbon Brandon's quad. Anthony's in this room right now, sitting on a quad. I think he should switch the quads, but hey, at least it's a Suzuki, right? You got that Suzuki hat on still. Oh yeah, I'll get some clips after in a little bit of uh, I'll go update you with Bailey, Blaze, and uh, everybody. Dude, rev this beast up. Things for you, I'm telling you. We got Animal Hunter Anthony over here picking up a snapping turtle. I'll insert the Snapchat right here, him like... <laughs> he literally picked it up, he, he's talking to it like it's a dog, literally. Come on, buddy, come on. Hey, he's got the freshie.
but he got blazed down and out. Got the ACL surgery done. He'll be out for like six-ish months, right? Two. Two months. Two months with a full knee. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, we got dedication here on crutches, watching racing. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Come on, dude. That was, come on, come on. What are you doing to the camera? Why? Look, it's already broken. It's already zip tied and everything since I broke it the other day. Anthony are back here in Ryan's Pitter doing some hill climbs and whatnot because uh why not? Why not? No break. Anthony's giving it a go. This hill climb's not very big. Maybe we'll try like that one over there. <laughs> no, it's bogging. Put it in first. Uh-oh. <laughs> You can make it. <laughs> the thing just wheelies. Bike won't start, of course. Anthony got on it. Now it's broken. What's new? What's new? It's junk. Do you even have You gas? probably flooded it. And it's probably out of gas. Oh no, it has gas. It has gas. There she is. <laughs> it caught you. All right, redo it and go to the right. It caught on that thing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> dude, the vine caught you. It's in between your leg, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess the front brake does kind of work, huh? Barely. A little bit. Jeez! You can't. You got to carry your speed. That was like third gear, and then it didn't work. Definitely in neutral, and it's on my foot. It's probably bogging out now. Just turn it around. Yeah. Come into it faster. There you go, there you go. Nope. Almost though. Dude, it's like one more try. <laughs> Made his own trail. That wasn't so bad now. You gotta start in first. Probably the biggest one out of the bunch for sure. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna... What are you doing? I'm trying to go down. Go yeah, without brakes. A little sketchy. Just coast it. Don't catch that vine and you're good. Nope. He's starting way down there. This is a longer one. Whoa, down chip. Starting in third, no wonder why it bogged out well, at the end, top. Because if you hit second or first, down shift to first, it goes into neutral. Like it'll pull Ooh. itself off. Well, this isn't stock. Either. It's still a 144, I believe, just not the head. I'll hit one before we head out. Bog. You gotta hold it open. Today I'm gonna load up uh, Ryan's pit bike in the back of the truck and then I think we might go to some like car meet thing. I don't know, Anthony wants to go to some like big car meet like 30 minutes away, so might stop there. Pitter's all loaded. I just turned the gas off because we're going somewhere and if we do park somewhere, I don't want anybody to see that the bike's actually back here. It's a little more hidden, but uh, we should be all right. And we are out of here. 
on to, I think, Pavilion next weekend? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god. I'm trying to bite my tire. <laughs> Come on, Ryan, your pit bike doesn't start, dude. Well, I hate to admit it, but I don't think Ryan's getting this thing back. Like, he doesn't actually know that I still have it. So, uh, I might just keep it for a few days. He didn't actually call me back. He didn't seem too concerned. So, uh, I may as well just keep it, ride it for a bit. He'll probably see it in my house, like, tomorrow or the next day. But, whatever, I'm actually having quite a bit of fun on it. Like, a stock pit bike and not, like, a fully modded, not fully modded, but super obnoxiously loud pit bike that you have to like ride super hard for it to go like this you can just lug around have fun on it and i think this is the way to go if you just want to like cruise around like what i pretty much want to do in my house just cruise around do wheelies mess around and not be like too serious about it so i might have to like i said look into like try to find a used 110 out on craigslist or something maybe sell mine and or maybe probably end up putting a lot of the parts that are on my 110 on that and just not getting an aftermarket pipe so I gotta look around.